Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dr. Hayes and in this video I'm going to walk you through demonstrating how to install the GCC, that is the GNU Compiler Collection, on a Mac. So if you have OS X and you want to set up your computer to compile C and C++ programs using GCC, then this video is for you. Now this compiler, the GCC compiler, is what we'll be using uh, for our class because it is the same compiler that we would use on Linux or on Windows. Also, it's the standard compiler for a lot of programs and so it's helpful to get familiar with that. These steps are not that difficult, but there is a process that I'll walk you through here. The first step to installing GCC on Mac OS is to open the terminal. The terminal is where we're going to actually compile and run all of our programs. To get to the terminal, go to Utilities and scroll down and click on Terminal. Another way is just to use the Spotlight. That's another good option. And we're also going to open up a website, brew.sh. And here is where Homebrew is. Homebrew is a package manager for Mac OS, and it allows you to easily install stuff that's otherwise not very easy. To install it, all you have to do is copy this script here from their website and paste it into the terminal. And then just hit enter. Hit enter again to confirm that we want to install Homebrew and enter my password. You'll need to have an admin account of this Mac in order to install this and then we're just going to let this run this is going to install several things that we need for homebrew but also for our compiler including clang or clang the compiler that default is included with mac os so i'm just going to fast forward here as it'll take a few minutes for this to set up Okay, now that we have Homebrew installed, we can easily install GCC to allow us to compile our C or C++ programs. Just type brew install GCC, and this will install the latest version of GCC, and I'm gonna hit enter. Again, this will take a few minutes, so I'll just fast forward. Now G++ and GCC is fully installed. At the time of this recording, the latest version of GCC that is installed is 8.2, as you can see right here. That might be different in your version. So in order to use GCC, I need to right now type GCC-8. And you'll see there's a fatal error, no input files, because we didn't actually give it any code to compile. Um, likewise, if I say G++-8, um, I get the same thing where it's running G++. However, if I run just G++, like I like to do in my development work and in my videos, um, you'll see it actually runs Clang instead of uh, G++. Clang or C-Lang is it's called. Clang is the default Mac compiler, but when we write G++, we want to run actual G++. So here's just a quick extra step to make that work. First, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change directories. We're gonna go to the folder um, user slash local slash bin. And in this folder, we're going to just type ls. And again, I have version eight installed, so you can see I've got G++-8. Now, what I'm gonna do is create a link to G++ that points to G++-8. And again, if it's dash nine for you in the future, then do dash nine or whatever. Um, so to create a link, just type ln s G++-8 to just G++. And then if I type ls at this point, you'll see this is newly created and that will allow us to just write G++ and it'll actually run the GCC compiler for C++. And you could do the same thing for GCC if you're interested in the C compiler, not just the C++ compiler. The last step is to sign out and log back in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, log out and log back in. Now we're ready to go. This time I'm gonna open up the terminal by just using the spotlight search and typing terminal. Just as easy. And now when I type G++, you can see it's actually running G++ instead of the C-Lang or Clang compiler. And if I want to use the Clang compiler, I can always just type 
clay to do that. So that works well. So I hope this video was helpful. And for all you Mac users, if you have any troubles, please let me know.